Hi guys, welcome to our little discussion about one of my really good friends, the lobster, the American lobster. The scientific name is Homeris americanus, and I wanted to show the external anatomy of the lobster. But first, I want to talk a couple of little interesting facts. The largest lobster ever caught was just over 44 pounds, almost 45 pounds. Um, it was caught off the, off the Grand Banks. Um, and it was about four and a half feet long, so they, they can get pretty big, and it, they estimate it was about 100 years old, so it was, it was an older lobster. Um, another thing about lobsters is they're not usually this red when they're alive. When they're alive, they tend to be black with some green and some blue highlights in here and there. Um, there, there are lobsters that are very rare that are blue, there are lobsters that are very rare that are red, like this one. But usually when you see a red lobster like this, it means it's been cooked. It's dead. Um, I cooked it because in a little while I'm going to take advantage of it. There's no sense in wasting it. Anyway, um, these elastic bands that they put on the lobster claws are not to protect the lobster fishermen or you when you buy them. But lobsters are very territorial, so they, are, they do not like each other very much unless it's a male and he lets a female into his den where he can fertilize her eggs so uh yeah the the elastic bands are really for the lobsters themselves so that they don't hurt each other when they're in the pan the pen um where they keep them until they sell them to you um lobsters have a few really interesting parts that we're going to go over right now let's start with the basic body plan um, you know that like for instance an insect has a head an abdomen and a thorax this guy is an arthropod arthro means jointed and pod is legs so literally jointed legged animal and you can see that there are joints where he moves his legs and this is a he we'll, we'll go through why in a few minutes um but but um so he is an arthropod he is in a class well he's in a subphylum called mandibulata and a class called crustacea the crustaceans include the barnacles the shrimp the lobsters the crabs um those kind of critters um so the body plan goes like this Instead of having a head and abdomen and thorax, his head and ab his head and thorax are fused to form a cephalothorax. So this this piece here is called the carapace, but it's the cephalothorax. This, what most people think of as the tail of the lobster, is really his abdomen. The real tail is back here. This is the tail, and this this is called the telson. Okay. And, and if you go up to the front where his, where his head is, this is called the rostrum. So when people go fishing for lobsters, what they do is they measure from this eye socket right here to the back of the carapace. It has to be three and a quarter inches in Connecticut, in Maine, um, in Massachusetts. The interesting, you can only get a license if you're a resident of that state. So we can only get a license in Connecticut if you live in Connecticut. If you live in Rhode Island, you can only get one in Rhode Island, and so on. Um, so, a couple other things. These are the antenna. There are two different kinds of antenna. There are these antenna that are really for helping him to navigate and figure out what's around him. They're kind of feeling. And then these, these antenna are used for for smelling for chemical senses and so um they're really really sensitive to chemicals in the water this these are his eyes and they're on a stalk so they're on eye stalks okay um i'll flip them over in a minute but but when we look at him you'll notice these two big claws he's got two different kinds of claws He's got a crusher claw, and if you look, it looks kind of like a molar, right? And let me see if I can focus a little bit. And 
he's got a ripper claw or a, or a cutting claw, okay? And interesting, um, depending on which one he uses for what as he's young will determine which one of these is, which side is which. So there are left-handed and right-handed crusher claws and, and right-handed and left-handed pincher claws, okay? Moving backward, um, he has four other pair of legs. So he is in an order called Decapoda, 10 legs, right? And so the first two are the claws, and then there are four smaller walking legs, they call them, okay? Um, and so these walking legs are a little different as we go on. Let me, let me flip him over. Let's, let's talk about the lobster from this point of view. So you'll notice that the first, the first legs would be the claws, right? And then you'll notice that these two next legs have little claws on them. These little hairs help them to, to actually taste what's going on in front of them or around them. Um, but, but two clawed legs, two pair of clawed legs, and then two pair of legs with just a little point at the end. So that helps them walk. If, if you want to know if you have a boy or a girl lobster, the interesting thing is it's easy enough to tell by turning him over. This, okay, so these are called pleopods. They're swimmerettes is the common name for them. And the first pair in a boy is hardened and kind of shaped like a, like a little tube when they come together so that he can deliver the sperm packet to the female. The female's first pair here are much like these. They're very feathery um, structures, okay? All right, the other thing I wanna show you are the mouth parts. If I open up his, let me see if I can get this to, um, if you open up, he has several mouth parts, okay? Mm. So, so they call them petty palps. Um, th this, this is the first one. You notice it's it's toothed over here, and then there's another set. There's several sets of of palps or structures to help them eat until you get all the way in, and then these help to grind the food. So these really grind the food up as well. These kind of hold it in place while the lobster eats. Lobsters are very opportunistic, but they prefer live food. Okay, as we move along here, you can see that he has a mouth, okay, oh, mouth, and then when he eats, he has a full digestive tract. He has a stomach, he has intestine, uh, and it goes all the way through the abdomen. This is the abdomen, right? All the way to this is the anus, okay? So those are the external parts that I really wanted you to see. Um, let's see if I missed anything. Oh, that's it. Okay. Thank you very much.